council tax is very interesting because it's 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 not criminal to not pay. So it's not um, it's it's it, it's not criminal when it's own right because it's just another thing that's been suppressed. It's another thing that's put upon us. Yeah, and their system is about um, uh, um, oppression. So if their system is built on oppression, which it is, and you can trace that back to the 1200s or even further, if it was 900, even the dome, you could trace that back to Alfred the Great, um, where the Bible actually states that slavery is perfectly okay. Um, so if you go back and you see all this, you'll suddenly see that whatever they do is, is perfectly okay. You see, the thing is, they've got this magic word called legal. You know, war's okay, genocide's okay, as long as it's got the stamp legal on it. Council tax is legal. It's a legal, it's a legal system. It's perfectly okay in their world. Um, but the point is, if you ever go to court about council tax, you're never in front of a magistrate. The councils hire the court for the day and they employ a solicitor to act as a magistrate. That's why you'll never get a signed warrant come out of a magistrate's court. They don't sign them. It's fraud. Um, gross negligence also is equivalent to fraud, which is quite a powerful maxim. To, you know, and they know that they're in gross negligence about these sort of matters, so they're not allowed. They can't sign it. So when you uh, uh, when they come to your house to try and arrest you for non-payment of council tax, well, they can't arrest you because the police can't enforce an unsigned warrant. And you can talk to, ring up the police and ask them yourself. You don't have to take my word for it, but ask them. Rather, you get it from the horse's mouth. They can't enforce an unsigned warrant, and they will tell you that a, a warrant that hasn't got a signature is not worth the paper it's written on. I've, I've listened to what people have told me about council tax, and I know a friend of mine, he's, he's, he's not paid for three years, he just, he just tells them to whistle. And they can come to the house with the police, but the police can't enforce the warrant, so he can't be arrested. The only time they can ever arrest you is if your idiot is stupid enough to go to the court. Because when you go to the court, you're walking into a private building. You're not walking into a public building. Now, once you're in a private building, so if you're in a court and you actually say to the court, is this a public or a private building? Then what the, they, they've got to answer you. Now, they've either got to answer you, they've either got to lie, or they've got to tell you the truth. And the, the majority will lie, and they say, well, no, this is public. And we say, well, how come you've got private security guards who have, got, have no oath, so they have no security? So it, they have no authority, so in principle, I could just walk straight into this place because it's a public building. Now, when you see that the courts all have company numbers because they're all trading, and you find out the court's fines office, and, and there's an, actually a, a, a bank account set up with this, it's a very powerful account that um, is possibly one of the, got probably most money, because than any other account that's used. The courts are there to collect revenue. They don't give a shit about anything else. They don't care. They, they will prolong things, they will use things because they're advocates, the solicitors, the barristers are all, as long as all these boys are being paid, that means that the law society is being paid, the court's being paid, and Every ounce of that, they will extract money. They want you to sue people. They want you to have a compensation nation. That's why everything, tick a box where it's appropriate, a compensation nation, because they make so much money from it. <laughs> you, might get, you might get a few quid out of it, but at the end of the day, the advocates are making hundreds of thousands of pounds every single day. And this is why they want these, 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 these systems. So that's what the courts are. Well, actually, council tax is exactly the same. It's no different. And we, you see, when you realise what council... People don't know what council tax goes on. We reported about 18 months ago that two, the first £240 of your council tax goes to the, the actual councillors of your, your county council or your, your, your local council. You're, you're paying for their pensions. And they're called copper bottom or uh, gold capped pension schemes. And the first £240 of that, that the payment, whatever payment you're making on every household goes towards their pensions, and that's why they get these nice fat cat pensions when they leave. Now, Eric Pickles, an MP, just recently come out and said, did you know that £300 of every council tax payment is now paid to the council councillors' pensions? So not only has he confirmed what we said 18 months previous, he's also told us that it's gone up from 240 to 300 but there we go, there's inflation, isn't there? Always got inflation.